stay here for a few more breaths if you need to or move with me i'm coming onto the fingertips with straight elbows rocking side to side to start stretching out the shoulders still taking in the long deep breaths couple more breaths push your weight forward lie down on your front I'm bringing the knees hip distance if you haven't done it yet Let's start with mini cobras press the feet into the mat heels of the hands under your shoulders or the elbows inhale lift Exhale, come back onto the mat. Make sure you can feel the upper back muscles. Keep looking at the mat. Press the feet in. There shouldn't be any pain in the lower back. This is my last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come back down. Sit back into child's pose when you're ready. Take a big inhale, tuck the toes under, but keep sitting back onto your heels for now. Reach, reach the arms forward. And then push your weight forward again. Drop the hips into a full cobra. Open the chest on the top. Make sure you lift the ears out of the shoulders. Tuck your chin. Keep the elbows straight as you sit back into child's pose. Push up into downward dog. And we are still moving. Maybe press the heels towards the mat for a breath and come forward high plank. Take a big inhale. Exhale, drop the knees the hips. Inhale, open into cobra. Exhale, chin to chest, draw the belly button and sit into child's pose. Inhale, lift the bum high. Make sure your elbows are straight and exhale, push your chest towards the heels. Inhale, lift the heels, ripple forward into high plank. Find the core muscles. Exhale, drop the knees and the hips. Inhale, roll your shoulder blades together as you open your chest into cobra. Exhale, chin down, sit back into child's pose. Inhale, lift your bum up into downward dog. Exhale, press your heels towards the mat. One more time. Lift the heels, tuck the tailbone, inhale forward into high plank. Exhale, drop the knees and the hips. Roll your shoulders back, shoulder blades together. Open up into Cobra, inhale. Exhale, child's pose. Make sure there is no pain in the back. Inhale, lift the bum. And exhale, find downward dog. You can start moving the heels, pedaling out. And hold downward dog for about three or four breaths. Spread the fingertips. Make sure your hands are no wider than your shoulders. Turn the, turn the tailbone up to the ceiling. On your next inhale, lift the right heel behind you into three-legged dog. As you exhale, bring the right knee to the nose. And in your own time, step through between the thumbs. I like to tap the knee to the nose. And take a long step to the front. Once you're there, left knee straight, right arm up, easy twist. Lengthen up to the ceiling, stack the shoulders. And drop the left knee onto the mat. Keep the left toes tucked on there. Sweep the right arm back. Join the left. Both thumbs up into crescent moon. Lengthen up to the ceiling. I'm interlacing fingers. And on your exhale, if you've got that, slight back bend. Engaging core muscles. Straighten up. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Twist to your right. Press the left elbow into the right knee when you're ready. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, keep twisting, maybe looking over the right elbow towards the ceiling. Inhale, sweep the arms up, crescent moon. Exhale, runner's lunge, frame the right foot, lift the left, he uh, left knee off the mat. Push the right leg back, find high plank. 
Inhale, push the weight forward. Exhale, first chaturanga. By all means, drop the knees if you want or keep them off for full chaturanga. Inhale, cobra rock. Would do. Make sure you press the feet into the mat and your neck is long, whatever you choose to do. And exhale, downward dog. Sitting through child's pose is always good and safe if you've got any, any doubts on your back. One more breath here. Maybe hold a static stretch. And as you do the other side, on your next inhale, lift the left heel. Three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to the nose if you can. And take a long step through the thumbs, between the thumbs. Right knee straight to start with, left arm up, easy twist. Big inhale as you open up, look up to the ceiling. Drop the right knee, sweep the left arm back and both thumbs up, crescent moon. I have right toes tucked on the interlace fingers, lengthen up to the ceiling, inhale. And if it's there, exhale into slide back bend. Inhale, straighten up, hands to heart center. Exhale, twist to your left. Press the right elbow into the left knee. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, press the elbow into the knee even more. Feel the back twisting. Inhale, sweep both arms up, crescent moon. Exhale, runner's lunge, frame the front foot, lift the back knee. Push the left heel back, high plank. Inhale as you push your weight forward, exhale, chaturanga. You can always leave it out if you want. Inhale, cobra, rock with dog. Feel the stretch in the front of your body, exhale, downward dog. Let's take one more breath. And we repeat it again. On your inhale, right heel in the air. Three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to the nose. And step through between the thumbs. Right hand up, easy twist. Feel the straight line between the left heel of the hand and the right fingertips. Drop the left uh, knee, sweep the right arm back, both arms up. Inhale, crescent moon, tug the tailbone. And exhale, maybe back bend. Inhale, straighten up. Exhale, hands to heart center and twist to your right. Inhale, lengthen spine as you press into the knee with the elbow. Exhale, keep twisting. Maybe open the arms if it's there already. Sweep the arms up, crescent moon. Exhale, runner's lunge, hands flat. Lift the back heel. Push the right foot back, high plank. Inhale forward with your weight. Exhale, chaturanga if you're doing it. Inhale, cobra rock with dog. Make sure your neck is long. Exhale, downward dog. Think about engaging the stom stomach as you go into downward dog. Inhale, lift the left heel, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to the nose. And step through between the thumbs. Left arm up, easy twist. Press into the right heel of the hand. Exhale, drop the right knee and sweep both arms up. Crescent moon. Inhale, reach up, lengthen up. Exhale, back bend if it's there. Inhale, straighten up. Exhale, hands to heart center, twist to your left. Press the right elbow in. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, keep twisting, maybe straight arms. Sweep both arms up, crescent moon, inhale. Exhale, run his lunge or high plank if you're ready, shooting the left leg back straight away. Leaving out Chaturanga is always an option. Inhale, push forward. Exhale, sink through. Inhale, cobra up with dog. Feel the stretch in the front of your body. Exhale, engage the core. Find downward dog in your own time. And hold for a breath. 
Slide bend in the knees and focus on the shoulders. One more round. Inhale, right heel up. Three legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Step through. Right arm up, easy twist. Drop the left knee, sweep the arm back and all the way up, crescent moon. Take a big inhale, maybe he's out of the right knee if it feels better. Exhale, back bend if it's there. Inhale, straighten up. Exhale, hands to heart center, twist to your right. Press into the knee as you lengthen the spine. Inhale. Exhale, open the elbows if it's there. Sweep of crescent moon. If it's there, lift the back knee off so you come into a high lunge. Inhale. Exhale, straight into Chaturanga if it's there or take your time. Hands down. Shoot the leg back and sink through. Inhale, cobra off with dog. Exhale, down with dog. One more breath here. Lift the left heel, three-legged dog. Knee to nose as you exhale. Step through. Left arm up, easy twist. Hold for an exhale. Drop the right knee, sweep both arms up, crescent moon. Inhale as you lengthen up to the ceiling. Exhale, back bend from the top of your spine. Inhale, straighten up. Exhale, hands to heart center, twist to your left. Press the elbow in and lengthen spine as you inhale. Exhale, twist further, open the elbows if it's there. Sweep up crescent moon or, or back knee off if you're doing crescent lunge. Inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga, take your time. Let's meet in downward dog. Inhale, cobra off with dog, long neck. Exhale, down with dog. And hold. If you need a break here, you've got about three breaths. You can always drop your knees into child's pose. Or twist with me, right fingertips coming towards the outside of the left leg. Reaching towards the left ankle. Grab and gently pull. Look under the left armpit. Right arm on the mat, you still have time to rest in child's pose if you want. I'm changing sides. Left fingertips come on the outside of the left knee. Calf, heel, sorry, the right. I'm reaching across. Gentle pull. I'm feeling a twist in the back and the right shoulder blade. Shoulders working hard. Left hand on the mat. Find downward dog with me. And make your way to the front of the mat. Step it or hop it. Feet together once you're there. Inhale, halfway left, long back. Exhale, fold. Hold it here. If you have to stretch in the hamstring, slide bend in the knees. On your next inhale, drop your bum, bend your knees, and start lifting your shoulders, your chest into chair pose. Then sweep the arms up once you're there. Take a big inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center and twist to your right. Keep the knees together. Press the left elbow into the right knee. We are still twisting. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, see if you want to open your arms again. One more breath here. Bring the hands back to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up into chair. Keep the bum low. 
Exhale, sweep the arms by your side. Squeeze the shoulder blades together to activate the back muscles. Do that twice more. Inhale, reach up. Draw the belly button in. Exhale, sweep back. Squeeze the knees together so you feel the inner thighs. One more time. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, sweep by your side. Hold it here. Take one more inhale. Exhale, forward, forward. Bomb up. Drop the chest. Give your thighs a break. One more breath. Let's do the other side. On your next inhale, bend the knees. Lift the chest. When you're strong in the back and stomach, sweep the arms up. Inhale. Exhale as the heart centers. Twist to your left. Press the right elbow into the left knee. Check that the knees are staying together. Inhale, long back. Exhale, open the arms or just press more into the knee. That helps. One more breath. Hands back to heart center. Sweep of chair. Inhale, you know what's coming. Exhale, sweep by your side. Keep your bum about halfway. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, sweep back. Feel the back muscles working. One more inhale and I'm burning in the thighs. Exhale, sweep back. Hold it here. One more inhale. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga will leave it out. Meet me down with dog. <laughs> Inhale, cobra off with dog. Long neck. Exhale, find your down with dog and hold for about two breaths. Take your time to get there. Lengthen the shoulders. If you need to pedal the heels out, please do. I've got a lot of burn in the thighs. Drop your knees and then drop your elbows. Find forearm plank, elbow plank. I've got hands flat, but you can touch fingertips together if it's better. Make sure elbows are no wider than your shoulders. Tug the tailbone, long neck and step back one by one. Finding forearm plank, elbow plank. And hold. Option here to drop the knees and hold three quarter of a plank. Draw the belly button in and that's plenty. Otherwise, shift your weight forward. Inhale. Stretch your heels back. Exhale. Make sure your bum is staying on the same level as your shoulder. Inhale forward. Exhale, stretch the heel back. Resist the temptation to lift your bum any higher than your shoulders or drop your bum any lower than your shoulders. Give me another six. Stop beforehand if it's too much. Inhale forward. Exhale, stretch the heels back. And it should be burning in your stomach muscles, your shoulders possibly, and your triceps, but not the lower back. I'm shaking. Three more. Feel the stretch. Push the heels back. And this is my last one. Find your plank. One more breath. Drop the knees onto the mat and lie down on your front. Oh, that's a nice relief for me. Bring your arms out into a cactus and bring your feet wider than your mat. Press the feet into the mat and the pubic bone. Lift the shoulders. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, come back onto the mat. And this is your option here. I'm taking it further straight away. Inhale, lift the arms as well. Try and keep the wrists higher than your elbows. Exhale, come back onto the mat. Keep your arms in a cactus. And make sure you feel the back muscles, not the lower back, upper back. I'm taking it further for four repetitions. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach to the front. Inhale, open up into a big circle. Press the back of your hands onto your thighs. 
exhale, come back into cactus and all the way onto the mat. Inhale, lift into cactus. Exhale, bicep to the ears. Inhale, open with straight elbows. Press the back of the hands onto the thighs as you lift higher. Exhale, cactus, and all the way onto the mat. If it's too much, just do the back extensions. I've got two more. Press the feet into the mat. and make sure you're looking at the mat once you know what you're doing. There shouldn't be any lower back pain. It's my upper back, my back of my shoulders. This is my last one. Press the pubic bone in. And keep the shoulders away from the ears. And this is my last one coming all the way onto the mat. Oh, relax the arms, hands under your forehead. Push your hips side to side or bend your knees and push your feet side to side. Good news is we are not coming back here. We don't have to do it again. I know it's sad. Let's find high plank. I'm bringing the feet hip distance. You have the option to keep the knees on the mat. I'm tucking the toes on there. I've got hands under the shoulders, pressing the elbows by my side and tuck the belly button in. Come up onto the knees or full press up in here. Exhale, hold. Engage the tummy and breathe. Spread the fingertips, make sure the heels of the hands are under your shoulders. Make sure there is no pain on your lower back. Look a little bit in front of your fingertips, somewhere in the middle of the mat. So your neck is in neutral. Option to drop the right knee onto the mat and lift the left heel behind you by about an inch, maybe two and hold. Again, dropping the right knee on the mat is good. I'm turning into a side plank from here. So you stay on your right knee and just bend it more. Pivot on the right knee or flick the right heel over and lift the left arm up, coming into a full side plank. I'm flexing the left foot, lifting it hip level, stacking the shoulders and the hips and hold it for five, four, three, two, and one, come back into high plank, find it. Shoulders above the wrists. I'm shaking everywhere. Option to drop the left knee or keep it off and lift the left he right heel. Make sure the shape, the shape of the body is not changing. You can pivot on the left knee or flick the left heel over. Lift the right arm to find a full side plank. Flex the right foot, stack the shoulders and hips. And I'm hovering the right foot. For four, for three, for two, and for one. Come back into high plank. Option to push into a downward dog or do a full floor with me. Inhale forward to prepare for Chaturanga. Exhale, sink through. Inhale, Cobra Rock with dog. And exhale, find down with dog. Oh, let's take a breath. On your next inhale, lift the right heel behind you, three-legged dog. This time, stack the hips and open. Bend the right knee, point the right knee up to the ceiling, both thumbs straight and hold for another breath. Inhale, level the hips. Exhale, knee to nose. And step through between the thumbs. Come onto the fingertips. Just hold it here for a breath. It's just a lovely, lovely, lovely relief on the shoulders, on the wrists. Sweep the arms up, crescent lunge. Take a begin here. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind you. And open the chest up to the ceiling. If you feel very unstable, you can always press the left heel onto the mat. It will be a little bit different, but that's okay. Make sure you're not standing on a tight rope. Your right heel and the left foot should be tram lined. Bend the right knee a bit more. Take a begin here as you look up and exhale, fold yourself, the right shoulder on the inside of the right thigh. 
and rub the head and shoulders towards the mat. As you lift the fingers off the hips, maybe point the knuckles up to the ceiling. Come into airplane lunge, lift the head, then the shoulders. Lengthen between the crown of the hand and the left heel. Release the arms, point the palms towards the mat and squeeze shoulder blades, long neck. Float into warrior three, bend the right knee a bit more and lift the left heel if you're ready. Make sure your head, your hips and the left heel are on the same level, horizontal line. Flex the left foot to the mat. and stand up into stalk or big toe pose if you're ready. Hug the left knee and if you're doing stalk, lift the chest, you might be able to reach from the inside of your left knee and put the first two fingers on the left hand around the left toe and stand up right, I was right hand on the hip, long spine, pushing left shoulder behind me and pressing the left inner thigh onto my left tricep. See if you want to extend, if not, stay with me. If you're extending, try and avoid the rounded back. Extend the leg out to the front if you want. Maybe lift higher, but again, straight back. Left shoulder goes behind you. Take one more breath. I'm releasing big toe pose. You can bend the knee or keep it extended. Arms up to the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, warrior three, push the left heel to the back. I'm keeping the arms by my ears. Long back one more time. And step all the way to the back of the mat. Crescent lunge. Once you've made sure your right knee's above the right ankle, sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, we leave it out. And the hands, shoot the right foot back. Maybe hover it if you're ready and sink through. Both feet in the mat, inhale. Cobra off with dog, exhale down with dog. Mm, and hold it for a breath. Inhale, left that lift the left heel. Three legged dog. On your exhale, stack. See you later. Bend and point the left knee to the ceiling. Hold. Straight arms. Breathe. Level the hips, inhale, exhale, left knee to the nose. And in your own time, no rush, step through. Sweep the arms up, present lunge, inhale. Exhale, interlace the fingers in the back. Make sure you're bending that front knee. You're safe in the knees. Open the heart up, take a big inhale. Maybe straight elbows if you can, exhale, fold bringing the left shoulder on the inside of the left knee. Drop the shoulders, the chest, the head, and maybe point the knuckles up to the ceiling. If you're struggling, you can always place the right heel onto the mat. Just please be careful with the right knee. Make sure you don't feel anything funny in the inside of the right knee. Airplane lunge, lifting head and shoulders first. Finding the straight back, engaged core, releasing the arms, palms pointing down, fingertips to the back. Warrior three, keep the arms as they are. Float into balance, lift the right heel. Find a straight line on the top, level the hips, maybe straighten the left knee if it's there. Stand up into stalk or big toe pose. I tend to bring the right tab on the inside of the right knee. Peace fingers to the right toe, big toe. Lift up, I've got left hand on the thigh. That's my hip. And think about pointing the right knee up to the ceiling whilst you're sending the right shoulder to the back of the mat. A long spine. See if you want to extend the right knee or stay with me. on something that's not moving 
And again, pay attention to the spine. It should be nice and straight. I'm releasing the arms overhead. Bend the knees if you need to, or keep the staff pose. Inhale, exhale, warrior three, pushing right heel to the back. Arms by my ears if you can. I'll bring the arms by your side again if it's better. Step back slowly. Long lunge, left knees above the left ankle once you've landed. Sweep the arms up, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, Chaturanga, or leave it out. Pushing left foot back, hovering, sinking through. Inhale, Cobra, upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. Let's repeat it twice more, a little bit faster. Lift the right heel, three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, open on the top, stack. Inhale, level hips, exhale into nose, step through. Inhale, crescent lunge, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind your hips. Inhale, open the heart up. Exhale, hinge. Drop the right shoulder on the inside of the right knee. Drop the head and shoulders. Take it for one more. Um, take this pose for one more inhale. And point the knuckles up to the ceiling, if you can. Inhale, airplane lunge. Lift the head and shoulders, release the arms. Exhale, warrior three. Hold for a breath. Try your best to straighten the right knee. That's the tricky bit. And try not to lift the left hip higher than the right. Stand up into stalk or big toe pose. Find the balance first and the long spine. One more breath if you want to extend. Spine is long. You're standing tall. Release into stalk or staff pose, arms by your ears. Warrior three, push the left heel back. In the inhale, bend the right knee. Exhale, step into long lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up, crescent lunge. Exhale, Chaturanga, meet me in downward dog. I'm hovering right foot. Inhale, cobra, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take one more breath. Inhale, left heel up, three-legged dog. Exhale, stack and open. Inhale, level hips. Exhale, knee to nose. Tap and step through. Inhale, crescent lunge, arms up. Exhale, interlace the fingers in the back. Straight elbows if you can. Open the heart up, inhale. Exhale, hinge. Drop the head and shoulders. Left elbow on the inside of the left knee if you can. Hold for one more breath. Point the knuckles up to the ceiling if it's there. Inhale, airplane lunge, lifting chest. Pointing fingers to the back. Exhale, warrior three, balance. One more breath to maybe straighten left knee if it's there. Inhale, hinge up. Stalk or big toe pose. Exhale, lengthen back. Point the right knee up to the ceiling. If you want to extend, you've got one more breath. But lengthen the spine, maybe the left knee. Release into stalk or staff pose, arms by your ears, inhale. Exhale, warrior three. Bend the left knee, inhale. Exhale, step to the back of the mat. Sweep the arms up, crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga, leave it out. Inhale, cobra, upward dog. 
exhale downward dog and take another breath here we've got one more round inhale right heel up three-legged dog exhale stack and open inhale level hips exhale tap the nose and step through inhale crescent lunge sweep the arms up exhale interlace the fingers in the back inhale open the heart up exhale hinge one more breath drop the shoulders head lower point the knuckles up airplane lunge lengthen between crown of the head and left heel floating to warrior three one more breath to lengthen between crown of the head and the left heel again and maybe the right knee hinge up stoke or big toe pose lengthen spine left knee pointing up left shoulder going back one more breath to lengthen the left knee if you want to extend release the arms up take a big inhale exhale warrior three inhale bend the right knee exhale step to the back of the mat inhale sweep the arms up exhale chaturanga leave it out inhale cobra rock with dog exhale down with dog one more breath inhale left heel up three-legged dog exhale stack bend the left knee inhale level hips exhale knee to nose step through Sweep the arms up, crescent lunge. Inhale. Exhale, interlace the fingers in the back. Straight elbows, knuckles pointing down if you can. Open the heart, inhale. Exhale, hinge. Drop the head and shoulders. One more breath. Head low, knuckles high. Hinge up, airplane lunge. On your exhale, warrior three. One more breath, maybe straight left knee. Strong stomach muscles, strong glutes. Hinge up, big toe pose or stalk. Long spine, right knee pointing up. One more breath if you want to extend. Arms up, inhale. Exhale, warrior three. Push the right heel back. Lengthen on the top again. Bend the left knee. Step to the back of the back with the right. Sweep the arms up, present lunge, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, or leave it out. Inhale, long neck into cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Good time for a child's pose or I'm twisting again. Just like before. Reaching one hand across. Outside of the leg or the ankle. And hold with a gentle pull. And I'm changing sides. you feel the other shoulder blade working come back to center and drop the knees for camel if you feel warm enough start from a child's pose and grab the heels whether you're tucking the toes or untucking 
just lift up, make sure you engage the glutes. If you're coming with me, I'm coming off first and squeezing glutes. Feel the stomach working and feel the opening in the top of your shoulders. And hold. Beautiful. Take a couple more breaths, unless you need to come out of the position before that. And release. Sit back into child's pose for a breath. Reach forward, find the animal dog. Pull up. Inhale, bend the knees and look to the front. Exhale, step or jump the feet in the middle of the mat. Make sure they are together. Once you're there, inhale into a halfway lift and exhale, fold. And please remember, anytime you want to come back to this, to stretch the hamstrings. Otherwise, let's try your side crawl, starting from chair. Bond their knees together. That's really important. And sweep the arms up, inhale. I'm twisting to my left first, but it doesn't matter. Hands to heart center and press the elbow into the knee. Long back. I'm opening arms to really feel that twist. Hands back to heart center and I'm sitting the bum towards the heels. I'm lifting heels off. Making sure triceps was an, a tricep is on the outside of the left thigh for me. See if you can bring the fingertips down. Still pressing knees together as much as I can. See if you can bring the hands down. I'm gonna turn away from you. Hands are no wider than the shoulders. Create a shelf of that right tricep. Draw the belly button in, lift up onto the tippy toes. And try and keep your knees tagged. If you're thinking about pushing your weight into the fingertips. If not, just twist going to come from the core muscles so draw the belly button in just before you lift and feel that you're placing the weight the top of your knees sorry the stag knees on top of your right elbow so hopefully the alignment will be the two knees on top of the right elbow Listen, have another go. If you've had enough, I untangle my spine first. And I need to dangle down with the feet hip distance just to lengthen my back. The result of side crunching going on. Otherwise, take your time, have another go. And you'll find one side is going to be a lot better than the other one because the spine is not as twisty both ways. Let's do the other side. I'm just gonna face you. Just make sure you do the other side. Feet together and please squeeze the knees. That does make a big, big difference. Sit into chair. Take a big inhale. This is where you're checking in. Inner thighs are squeezing. Exhale, let's do heart center. I'm twisting to my right. Just make sure you do the other side. Pressing the elbow in and lengthening spine first. That's how you're protecting the spine and the lower back. By opening the arms. You're checking the mobility. And then hands back to heart center and I'm sitting the bum onto the heels. Again, for me, it does make a difference to squeeze the inner thighs together because otherwise they glide on top of each other and I just do lose the top leg, actually the bottom one as well. Fingertips first, checking in with your back and then hands flat, checking the distance between the two hands feeling that the left elbow is on the outside of the right knee and I go for it nice see if you can pull the heels into your bum that will stack your knees better if not just keep them where they need to be have another go you have the time 
and you are going to feel the difference between the two sides. If you've had enough, please take your time, you have the time. Dangle down with me, just lengthen the back first. Take your time, take your time because you might find that side is actually working. Meet me in forward fold. I've got the feet hip distance, so I'm more comfortable. And just fold, don't pull too hard. Drop the head, make sure you have a slight bend in the knees. Bend your knees, round your back, walk your hands up on the shins. Come into standing position. Sweep the arms up, inhale, standing cobra. Exhale, hands to heart center and put your hands on your hips. Give me a wide legged forward fold in a sec. So wide legged stance, doesn't matter which way you're going. Make sure you've got space. Feet hip distance. Arms up five point to start. Inhale, make sure you have a slight bend in the knees. Exhale, fall towards the mat. And take about three breaths. We're gonna have a play with that to stretch out your inner thighs, hamstrings. Maybe rock your weight forward and backward on the balls of your feet, on the heel. See where the stretch is, turn the tailbone up. I tend to keep a micro bend in the knees at least. Bend both knees quite generously and sweep up into five point this start. Inhale, I'm going to my right into warrior two. I'm turning the right toes to the front of the mat or wherever you're going. Open up into warrior two. I need to lengthen stones slightly. Bend the right knee a bit more if you can. We're moving on straight away. Flip the right palm. Inhale, reverse the warrior. You can start the bind if you want to reach behind you on top of the right thigh with the left fingertips. And exhale, side angle. You have the option to rest the right elbow on the right knee or reach on the inside of the right knee. Turn the left shoulder up. triangle I'm keeping the bind I'm straightening the right knee and you might want to block under your right hand or right hand on the shin lengthen the crown of the head is going to the front of the mat turn the left shoulder up make sure you still have a micro bend in the right knee you're not locking it out bend the right knee and reverse the warrior again keep the bind if you can Sweep the right arm up, inhale. And exhale, straighten the right knee. Now turn the right foot parallel with the left. I'm still holding the bind. It's getting more and more uncomfortable. Sweep the right arm onto the mat. Keep the bind if you can, keep the bind. Keep reaching on the inner thigh. My left fingertips are reaching towards the right inner thigh. Now straighten the right arm, put it on the right hand on the block if you need to. Turn the left shoulder up. Now you either stay here, you can release the bind. Or bend your right elbow and drop the head towards the mat. Hold the bind if you can. See if you want to reach the right arm on the back of your left heel, the left calf. And pull gently. Turn up towards the ceiling, look up. Release the left arm, release the bind. Oh, I can feel my shoulder on the left side. And release it onto the mat and then go down. Bend both knees generously, flatten the back and sweep up into five pointed star. Take a begin here. I'm going to my left, turning the left toes, warrior two, exhale. Bend the left knee, does help with the bind. Flip the left palm and reach the right arm behind you if you're going for the bind. Find the top of your right left thigh, reach the left fingertips nice and high, inhale. And exhale, side angle, resting left elbow on the left knee or the inside of the left thigh 
block is always good there it helps turn the right shoulder up triangle start extending the left knee see where you want the left hand make sure you can le lengthen the crown of the head towards the front of the mat well it might be the back of your mat for you now turn the right shoulder up to the ceiling again bend the left knee hinge up into reversed warrior I'm keeping the bind left arm up inhale now straighten the left knee and turn on the left heel to turn the feet parallel now that I'm almost releasing the bind dive onto the mat with the left hand now the bind is coming together again once you're there straighten the left arm just for a breath turn the right shoulder up inhale and now fold as you exhale please be careful releasing the bind anytime is good if you want to reach the left fingertips towards the back of your right thigh calf shin and again look up towards the ceiling Walking your right fingertips yeah. onto the left inner thigh. Your aim is to grab the back of your left thigh. And release the bind. Oh, release the right arm up first. Inhale. And exhale. Dive it onto the mat to center yourself. Excellent time to headstand. Or we'll leave it out and stretch. Focus on the inner thighs, hamstrings. If you're coming out of your headstand, think about stopping your feet as close to the ground as you can. To really train the tummy muscles, just hover just for a breath or two. And I'm taking a couple more breaths here. So maybe land on the mat with me. Find another forward fold. Once you're there, bend both knees. Push the hands into the mat to flatten the back. Draw the belly button in and now hinge up. I've got hands on the hips now. Oh, come to the front of the mat, shake the legs out. You can meet me on your back or we'll go through one more. I'm just going to come here for change of scenery. One more sun salutation. Leave it out. Meet me in downward dog if you want. Afterwards, we are going on onto our backs in case you're there already. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. And I'm taking another breath here. Your shoulders should be nice and warm. So drop them through. And then find yourself on your bum. I'm crossing the ankles behind the wrists to roll over. You can go through a quick boat pose because everybody loves that. Or just find yourself on your back. If you're thinking about boat pose, draw the belly button in. Lengthen the neck and the upper back. And find your own boat pose. I promise we won't be long. And then once you're there, scoop the tummy, find yourself on your back. Tug the heels up to the bum. I'm opening the front of the hips one last time. You can do a wheel or open the hips with me in a shoulder bridge. Make sure you activate glutes with me first. Scoop the stomach, lift the hips. I'm drawing belly button in, feeling the glutes working. And if you're coming with me, interlace the fingers under your hips. Tug the shoulder blades under. Lift the hips higher, but scoop the tummy for wheel make sure your chin is off your chest 
if you're with me. Make sure there is no tension on your lower back. Anytime you've had enough of a wheel, you can come out of the position. I'll be here for another breath. Maybe two to open the front of my hips. And I'm releasing the shoulder blades, then the hands. Then I'm scooping stomach, bringing hips onto the mat. Send the left heel away from you. If you have a strap, grab it. Put it around your right foot for a hamstring stretch. Otherwise, grab the back of your right leg and start stretching the back of your right thigh. Make sure your head and the shoulders are comfortable on the mat. And you can breathe. You can relax into the stretch and you can take five long breaths. inhales through the nose and long exhales through the nose keep bringing the right thigh towards you to stretch out the hamstrings And then release the right hamstring stretch. Taking it into a glute stretch straight away. I'm bending left knee, left foot flat. Right heel across the left thigh. And find your glute stretch. Might be just pushing the right knee away from you. Might be grabbing the back of your left thigh. Again, make sure you can relax head and shoulders. Make sure you feel the stretch in the right glute. Release the glute stretch on that side and slowly take it into another uh, hamstring stretch on the left side. I'm standing right heel away from my bum, long on the mat, left leg up. Grabbing strap is always good. Back of your legs. Find a stretch. Big toe pose is good too. Some of you like that. Make sure you can relax into the stretch. your eyes shut, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Release the left heel onto the right thigh for a glute stretch. Take your time. Find the one that works on your hips, on your glutes. It doesn't cause any knee pain.
release the glute stretch one more spinal twist each way i'm starting with right leg long hips to the left left knee into the chest and across to my right and feeling my lumbar spine stretching Looking over my left shoulder relaxing left shoulder blades onto the mat this is also your relaxation so try your best to shut your eyes and relax the muscles around your hips mainly but relax your face and your neck as well Slowly make your way through the middle, avoiding any sudden movement. Changing sides. Once you're there, left leg straight for me. Hips to my right, so I can pull the right knee into the chest and across. Making sure you're sending right shoulder onto the mat. Turning your head over your right shoulder always helps. Close your eyes. Bring your arms over to your left and bring the left knee, bend the left knee to pull it underneath your right knee, staying in a side lying position. And slowly make your way into a seated position. Comfy legs, long spine once you're there. Long neck to release the shoulders away from the ears. Finishing with the neck stretches ear to shoulder one way and hold for a couple of breaths. Chin sides. Drop the chin to chest. Feel the back of your shoulder, back of your neck for a breath. And roll the head one way. Other way. Hang your chin to the chest for one more breath. And then lift your chin slightly, bring the hands to heart center. Thank you very much, everyone. Namaste.